Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to make 100% whole wheat sandwich bread loaf with no refined flour in it and is completely vegan. This whole grain bread is airy with no unknown additives or dough conditioner and most importantly, great tasting. So without wasting any time, let's move on to the recipe. So first we will make sponge for our bread. Take 1 cup of warm water into a mixing bowl. Into that add 1 tablespoon of dry yeast, 2 and half tablespoons of maple syrup. You can also use sugar or honey here. Now add 1 cup of whole wheat flour into the mixture. Mix everything well together. Cover it using a cling wrap. And let the bowl sit for about half an hour in a warm place. Now our flour sponge is ready. You can see it is all uh, frothy and bubbly. Now into this mixture add 1 teaspoon of uh, lime juice or lemon juice. Now add 2 tablespoons of oil. I am using olive oil here. Also add salt to taste and now add rest of the flour that is 2 cups here. Add 1 tablespoon of vital wheat gluten to the flour for quicker gluten formation and less crumbs when slicing. However, this is optional. If you don't have vital gluten, you can skip this step. Mix everything well together. And now transfer this bowl to stand mixer. Keep the dough hook attached and start your stand mixer. Continue to knead for 2-3 to three minutes. Now check the dough if it needs more water in it. The dough should be soft and smooth, neither stiff and nor sticky. I added another 2 tablespoons of more water into my dough. And now continue kneading for another 8-9 to nine minutes. And I knead the dough at setting 2 on my KitchenAid. After kneading for about 5 minutes, you will notice that your dough has started leaving the sides. Our dough is almost ready. And I would like to add one more tablespoon of oil in the end. Knead the dough for another a minute after adding the oil. And uh, now our dough is uh, looking perfect. Turn off the mixer and uh, take out the dough. Grease the same bowl with oil. And uh, now we will keep the dough for proofing. The bowl with cling wrap and transfer the bowl onto a warm place for about an hour or until your dough is double in size. After an hour you can see our dough is almost double in size. So remove the cling wrap and transfer the dough onto a working surface. Dust some flour if needed. And start rolling the dough into oval shape. Now try to make rectangle shape with the uh, use of your hands by stretching the dough. And try to keep the weight similar to your loaf pan. Now roll the longer side like a jelly roll. Seal by pinching. Now grease the loaf pan with uh, some oil. And transfer the dough into the loaf pan. Adjust it from the sides. Cover the pan with cling wrap. And now we will keep this dough for a second proofing for about 30 minutes. You can see that the bread domes over the pan edge. 
and this is the right time to place this uh, pan into an oven grease the top part with some oil now bake this loaf on 350 degree fahrenheit for about 35 to 40 minutes our bread is out of the oven and it is looking perfectly baked apply some butter or oil on the top of the bread loaf now cover it with damp kitchen towel on the top and uh, leave it for about 5 to 10 minutes the bread loaf has cooled down completely and now you can take it out from the pan it should come off easily if it is packed properly now let it cool down completely before slicing it our loaf has been cooled down completely and now we can slice it you can see that the bread has got nice texture and it is as light as the store bought one You can store in a bread container on the counter for up to 2 to 3 days or refrigerate for up to a week. If you like this video then please don't forget to give thumbs up to this video and don't forget to share this recipe with your families and friends. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon with the next recipe.